The process to load RX maps into a Viper 4 is done utilizing a USB stick plugged into the side of your Viper 4 display. There are several different ways to bring in RX maps. This is just one way. There are other ways depending on desktop software used. This is just using a standard shapefile format from any desktop software. Once it's on the USB stick, we come into the Administrator tab at the top of the page. We then go into File Manager. Once we come into File Manager, we go to the USB icon in the upper left hand corner and we choose our, our, our USB name. In this case, it's 058F. We also need to choose the file type of RX Maps. We hit our arrow to the right in the lower right hand corner. It then takes us and shows us our file structure. I have the files for this RX map import under my USB, of course, and it's in a folder named Raven. And inside that folder, there is a folder labeled RX. When we tap on RX, we can see that we have a seed RX poly. Currently, I only have one RX map in that folder. If you have others, you can simply put them all in that RX folder and they will all show up down here at the bottom. The key would be to make sure and label them so they are easily recognizable and able to be chosen from a list. Once you have or you see your files on here, you can simply press select all if you want to bring them all in. And then over here on the right hand side, the first icon is copy, meaning we take something off of the USB as well as keep a copy on the USB or export and delete, which would be export the prescription map and then get rid of or erase what is on the USB. I'm going to choose copy and it says that we are going to import this one file. I hit my green check and it says copy because there's currently one on there already. Don't copy because I want to use one that's already there or rename to keep both files. Depending on what is on your Viper 4 display or how you have labeled them from last year, you may need to rename it. You may need just to copy and replace the existing file name. You might not get this icon or caution warning at all because it's the first time you have imported that label. In my case, I'm going to copy and replace the existing file because I want the latest named file. After you do that, it says your files have been successfully transferred. We're going to press OK. And we've added our RX map to the Viper 4. After you've done that for your maps, you can hit your green return arrow and go back to your job profile tab. Similar steps that we've walked through for our job profile, we again are going to press start job. We then can fill out our grower farm and field add our current job name. Once we have those values in here, we get down to the rate control box. The target icon next to our rates is where we are going to add or select our prescription map. Our first one, of course, is seeds. We press on the target icon and we get to select a rate input. We can see that it is just on fixed rate because previously we are just using a set rate for the entire width of the machine as we're driving through the field. We tap on the drop down box, we then have RX map. If you are trying to select your RX map and you do not have the RX map option, you must have GPS signal into the Viper 4 to get to this step. If you do not have RX map as an option, more than likely you do not have GPS into the Viper 4. We're going to select RX map it then brings up other options and columns to select. Right now it asks us to select our RX map name. Which if we tap on it, select RX file, again tapping on the center box, and we can have our seed RX poly that we imported before. If you have others in there, there will be a list of them to select. 
again, a reason to make sure that you have labeled them correctly and easily identifiable for you to reference at a later time. Select RX Poly, we hit OK. It then asks us to select our RX rate column, which comes up as corn and seeds, again, depending on how it's labeled in your prescription map. The one thing to note, depending on how your prescription is written, is your conversion factor. Remember that the Viper uses kilo seeds an acre for rates. So if your prescription is written to have 32,000 seeds per acre in different zones, we must use a conversion factor. So if it is already written in thousands of seeds an acre, we must put a conversion factor of 0 0.001 to ensure that the Viper 4 can convert that thousands of seeds an acre to kilo seeds an acre. A very important step and make sure you are aware of how your prescription is written before going farther. If a conversion factor is required and not entered in, it can cause and will cause the planter, of course, not to plant correctly and to plant a very, very high population. If it is not required, if it's already in thousands of seeds an acre, we can simply leave that conversion factor at 1. The default rate in kilo seeds an acre is a rate that would be set for anything outside your prescription map. For example, if your prescription map does not go all the way to the outside or boundaries of your field, you can simply type in a rate that it will default to outside your prescription. Once you have those entered in, we can hit our green return arrow. We now see that RX is selected for our seed, and we just have a set rate for fertilizer and insecticide. If we hit our play button to get to our run screen. Make sure under our VT window, if we tap on the VT box, that our, our population of course is set to RX as well as fertilizer and insecticide again to allow you to use the <clears throat> icons on the Viper 4 side. Even though we're only using a prescription for seed, that one of course has to be on there, but these two must be set to prescription as well to allow you to change the rates on this side. Once you have your prescription loaded, Normally you will see your different colored rate zones on your mapping page behind you and of course your rates will change as you're going through the field. Again, GPS must be connected to the display in order to go through and select prescription as well as to see your prescription map on the back screen and again make sure you know what your prescription rates are written in in case you do need to add that conversion factor.